Well, good evening everybody. Welcome to my new humble abode for the next month. This is a place that I get to stay while I work on this project that I have down here in Montana for the next month or so. Now, I know this is a bit of a departure from my normal videos where I normally am in my truck camper, but I think it was time for a little bit of a break. I've spent nearly two years straight in that rig and with the opportunity that this company that I have been working off on and off for for the last seven years, they have allowed me to stay in one of their guest cabins and I definitely want to jump on that because I have a lot of space. It's not a very big cabin but I mean look at this. That's that's a lot more space than what I'm used to. But anyway, let's take a little trip around this humble little cabin and give you a tour. And also, I'll take you out to the project and let you see what I'm going to be up to for the next month or so. I do foresee myself getting very, very busy because this is one of the largest projects that I've ever... Actually, it is. It's the largest project that I've ever bid on and got. So I'm really excited about it. I've put a lot of thought into it. I've even come down here a week and a half earlier than all of my guys, just so that I can properly orchestrate the whole situation, try to problem solve any things that might come up before they come down here, because I don't want to have a grouchy crew. I've had that happen before, and it's not a pleasant experience. Let's check this place out. All right, now as you can see before, this is obviously the living room. It's fairly modest, not big, but it's got baseboard heat and it's nice and warm. It's, <laughs> it's consistently warm. I don't have to worry about running out of propane or running out of batteries, so that's a huge plus. And it also has, check that out. Don't mind that. Yeah, look at that right there. <laughs> it's a wood stove. That's, that's pretty cool. I dig that. I think we're gonna start a fire here later this evening just for just for a cinematic effect. And in here we got your bathroom, pretty standard. And nice little tile shower. Pretty cozy. And then going over into here is the bedroom. That Zeta jumped up on and dirtied up the sheets a little bit. So yeah, not a whole lot to this cabin, but it's, it's pretty cozy. I really enjoy this and I'm going to enjoy this thoroughly for the next month. <clears throat> As stated earlier, I'm probably not going to really have much for videos coming out regarding truck camper content because I'm going to work my butt off for the foreseeable future so that I can afford to keep bringing you guys videos. With the current fuel prices, I've even found myself slowing down because fuel is literally two times more than it was a year and a half ago. And also, this area of Montana, frankly, I feel like I've kind of tapped it out. I have shown just about everything that I can possibly think of at this point. Come summertime when the roads and the backcountry roads open up more, I plan on going into some pretty incredible areas like in the Gravelly Mountain Range. I've never explored that area before. And from what I've seen on the maps, it looks incredible back there. And I've heard that it's actually a very, very remote and wild area, which sounds right up my alley. And I look forward to bringing that to all of you. I hope you stick with it <laughs> and, and stay interested or stay updated on my channel if you haven't already um, if you think i deserve it feel free to like and subscribe and make sure to turn on notifications the little notification bell so yeah anyway let's continue on with the video i don't know what i have coming up next i think i'll show you a little bit of the the skid steer work that I did over the last couple days, and then let's build the fire. Oh, 
<laughs> She's getting pretty deep now. Nom 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 nom. This thing's just charging through this stuff. It's pretty awesome. It's about a foot of snow. I gotta say, sitting in this thing making uh, making good money is, I'm kinda digging this a little bit more than uh, working out in the elements, but this is gonna be a short-lived experience for sure. It's nice to be able to have this thing right here. <laughs> I don't get to experience that very often these days. <laughs> Sounds easy enough. part of the spotlight too, don't you? Okay. Okay. Stop. Well, folks, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Uh, short and sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be about it for this video. It's been a lot, a lot more talking than, uh, than I should have put in, but I've been, I've been focusing on on this job too much to really to really do much else besides besides just just working so hopefully in the near future i will be able to this is really hard to do this with this dog stop hopefully in the near future i'll be able to get he's he, he just sat right there i'm trying to do a video for all you folks. Hopefully in the near... Stop. Hopefully in the near future I'll be able to get some interesting content out. My good friend Eric is going to be coming down tonight, so... Work is officially starting tomorrow. And I'm really looking forward to it. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Sorry if this video seemed rushed, because it was. I edited all of this today here, this Sunday, and wanted to get it out to you because it's been three weeks, or has it been four, since my last drop. So, I want to let you all know what I'm up to. Um, nothing that exciting, just, you know, moving snow and moving materials and getting ready for this project. As far as the content that I have coming up in the near future, it's probably going to revolve around that, so bear with me. I will get out and get some adventures in and be able to show you what I want to focus primarily on this channel, which is adventures and, and uh, exploring. Have a good day and good week and good month. I'll see you next time.